you know, this is a very rapidly changing landscape, to be honest. I mean, uh, so like we did Fire in the Blood, um, you know, already like seven years have passed uh, since we premiered the film. And the landscape has changed immeasurably during that period. Uh, so it's very fluid. Obviously now like the, um, Netflix and other platforms have become very big players. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of attraction to working with them, uh, which I would say are, first of all, that they often, you know, are bringing the financing for the film in one pot, you know? So it's not like you have to cobble, you, previously we were often with independent films and documentaries, you're cobbling together the financing from different places. And sometimes that's quite tricky because it's a bit of like a house of cards, uh, you know, where things have to come at certain times and, and you have to satisfy different masters. Um, so it's, it, there is a lot of, benefit in getting the money from one financier, especially if they're also, the exhibition is sort of built into that. So, you know, with Netflix, they're producing the film, then they release the film on their platform. So you don't have to worry about that part of it. You don't have to worry about whether you're going to make a sale. It's guaranteed, you know, the, it's all built into the money that they give you. And you kind, of t you kind of become a service producer in the sense you're taking a fee for executing the project. And then, you know, uh, the thing with independent films also, like when I produce Fire in the Blood, it takes at least a year to sort of roll out the film. So, you know, which is enjoyable to a certain degree because you're traveling all over the world to different film festivals and things. But at the same time, you know, that's time you could be using to work on other projects. So the nice thing about, you know, uh, let's say a, a Netflix release is that it comes out globally at the same time you spend a few weeks of doing your promotions and press, and then you move on to the next thing. And, you know, and also because you're not, you're not, there's no business uh, requirement after that. So you don't have to continue like with fire in the blood, you know, I would continually to make sales, you'd charge screening fees, there's educational distribution, there's airlines, there's so many things, you know, it's a lot of work to continually um, kind of, kind of tend to that, uh, you know, that project and what they call the long tail which means, you know, the business life of the project usually extends between five and seven years and can be much longer if the film sort of is very impactful. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a, what kind of most people are aiming for now is to sort of get on the platforms, uh, either with a commission project like Bad Boy Billionaires or um, with a sale like Fire in the Blood was sold to Netflix, but that was after it had been distributed in lots of places. Now, most of the platforms now want exclusive deals. So that means if you sell to a Netflix, you're probably going to be giving up your right to sell to other people or to have a theatrical release uh, or to, you know, or educational distribution, all those kinds of things. So, you know, it's tricky because in a way for independent films it's become more difficult in the sense that, um, you know, uh, do they pay enough to cover the, the cost of making that film truly, you know, uh, if they want an exclusive deal? Um, and, and you don't know. So that in that sense, it is favorable to do a, a commission deal because then, you know, you agree on a budget and then you, and they give you the budget and then you make it uh, and then you sort of wash your hands of it and you're done. And you sort of, the, and, then the, and the other aspect, which is very important, especially for documentary filmmakers um, and independent feature filmmakers as well, is that, you know, the benefit of being on a Netflix or an Amazon uh, is, you know, you can reach a, a, a massive audience that you would not be able to reach otherwise. Uh, and they promote your film uh, and they get a lot of press for your film. So you're reaching a lot of eyeballs and ultimately as filmmakers, you know, that's extremely important to us, you know, that otherwise you're, again, you're, you're in a very niche uh, kind of space uh, or even an echo chamber. And it is definitely satisfying to see, um, you know, to read about, see people talking about your work and discussing the, th you know, the topics dealt with in your work, the narratives, you know, like I, when Bad Boy Billionaires was released, uh, you know, I went to, I went to a restaurant in Bandra, you know, for dinner and uh, social distancing and everything, but, you know, literally like the tables on both sides of me were talking about my film, you know, that was a great, great feeling. You don't get that a lot in the documentary space. Uh, uh, so, you know, that's something that is really valuable. And I'm very happy that I had that platform with Netflix uh, for 
two of my films, you know, so uh, th this, I wouldn't underestimate the, the I would have... benefit of that or the, or the pleasure of having that be the case.